Hawk fans, hard to believe that another basketball season is on the horizon, but November 12th will be the raising of another banner at Hagen Arena. And with a new year comes a new class of Hawk freshmen. We had the chance to sit down with the five of them and talk about life on the court, off the court, and the adjustment to being college student athletes. We call it Meet the Freshmen. He was the first of a pair of Chicago freshmen to commit to the Hawks. Nick Robinson is our guest here on Meet the Freshmen. How are you? Nice oh, to see you. I'm good. Nice to see you too. How are things going in terms of practice and, and school, classes? Uh, things on the court is going great. Um, they're getting better and better every day. We're making, I mean, I'm making improvement and teams making improvement every day. And school is always good. It's, a, it's easy for me. It's natural. So that's good. Business major, right? Yeah. Yeah. Have you kind of narrowed down? No, I'm still a still business undecided. Yeah, yeah, still figuring it out. Yeah, yeah. Managing your time, though? Most definitely, most definitely manage my time. I, I <coughs> it's kind of hard to, um, like, manage basketball and school, but, it's like, that's, that's the problem that you have to deal with as a student athlete. What about the on-the-court portion of this? What's the biggest difference in terms of the jump? Everybody always talks about the, the speed of the college game, but what's, what's been the, I don't want to say the hardest part, but the most challenging part for you? The most challenging would be the speed. It's a lot quicker. Guys are, guy, every guy is coming from being the best on their team. So you got the best of 12 guys on one team. <laughs> so it's hard because you're playing against top talent every day you go out there. So that's, that's the most challenging that's been so far. What did you know about this place before St. Joseph started recruiting you? What did you know about the program, uh, about the school? Didn't know anything. I had to do a lot of research when, I, um, when they started contacting me and gave me the uh, scholarship. What did you learn? What, uh, what, what was the most interesting thing, I guess? The most interesting thing was I didn't know that Jameer Nelson was here. So that was the most interesting thing to me. That, that helped, right? Yeah, yeah, that helped. That helped. He, he had pretty good success. Yeah, exactly. What was your first impression of Coach? Um, he's a caring guy, and he does it. He does everything wholeheartedly. So that that really meant a lot. Chicago guy, influences early on in basketball. When did you start playing? First of all, started playing around five. Wow. So I've been playing for a while. So yeah, I just fell in love with it as soon as when I first touched the basketball. So that's who you taught know. it to you? Was it Dad? Um, nah, I went to a, I went to a lot of camps. So yeah, so that's that's basically it. Who'd you like to watch in Chicago? Bulls guy? Um, I'm not really a Bulls guy. No. My favorite player all time would probably be Steve Nash. Steve Nash, that's a yeah. good one. Yeah. That's a little different. Your, your game's a little different though. Yeah, yeah, but his um his court vision was is very impressive, and he had an amazing jump shot. And the scoop layup that like Steph Curry does, he's the he's the originator. The originator, the innovator, yeah, right. the innovator, and the originator. Exactly. And I think the the fun thing about him too is, you know, he could get so many different people involved in the game, and he could still make an impact with his offense. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So anyone too back to back MVPs in the NBA. So see, yeah. there you go. But You're reminding me of things that I <laughs> things that I've forgotten about. Yeah, he's a great guy. Here, living with Lorenzo Edwards. Couple of Chicago guys. Did you you know them beforehand? I, I think maybe you had a little bit of experience. I don't know if you played against each other, but I think you, you knew of each other, yeah, right? We knew of each other. I think we've only played one time, and that was like at a Mean Streets tryout. So that's the that's the only time we've ever played with each other. We didn't know it, we didn't know each other. We weren't friends, but we've grown close over the a little short time we've been here. Cheese steak or deep dish? Deep dish. Really? Easy easy choice. Now, where's your, where's your place? Lorenzo had given us one of his uh, in Chicago. Where do you go? Illuminati's. Lum oh, see, he said the same thing. <laughs> some, some sort of conspiracy. Yeah, hey, Illuminati's. That's, that's the best place. What about if you want a hot dog? Ah, uh, uh, I'm not sure. Not sure? I'm more of a, I'm more of a um, pizza type of guy. Like, Lorenzo knows I love pizza. White Sox or Cubs? <sighs> Cubs. Cubs. Yeah. It's a good answer right now. <laughs> the way yeah. the way things are yeah. going. Yeah, that's the, because of the new general manager. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah he's he's, the, he's he, the guru. Yeah, he knows what's going on. Exactly. For sure. For sure. Gonna wear twenty five? Uh five. Five. Yeah. 
what was what's the the I guess the rationale behind that number? What what does that mean to you? Well, twenty. I was gonna wear twenty five. I thought you. Yeah, I thought you were. But James has that number. That's right. Well, and yeah, so, that would make sense. Yeah. So five. Um, that's just been my f number. That's always been like a favorite number of mine. And I th so twenty five would have been the number, but five I just had to settle. So thoughts on your first college game and what that's going to be like if you, you you lay in bed late at night and, and think about what november 12th is going to bring or I, I don't know how much you think about it uh i try to take it day by day because i feel like that's a test and you have to be prepared for a test so you just you just work hard every day to get to prepare for that moment and so if you prepare for something you'll be ready for it when the time comes uh, you just passed your first on-camera test thank you for being here best Thanks. of luck Good to see you.